Guys, welcome to a new series. This is Age of Empires 3, and it is a real-time strategy game. Real-time RTS, whatever. Um, and real I don't even think it's real time, but whatever. It's an RTS. And yeah, it's a heavy strategy game, and I love it. Um, and I thought it'd be nice to have some variety on the channel since most of the uh, videos I make are already Minecraft. So we're gonna do a skirmish, which is a single match. Now, let's do choose. Oh, and we're gonna be playing one skirmish match at a time. I'm probably not gonna be doing campaign, but um, I don't know. So I'm gonna play as a really reliable civilization, such as. Yeah, London. Let's just place London as English. So, uh, be red. The other team I'm doing random could be pink. Uh, let's see, the map should be. Let's make it. How about orange? No, not or No, I don't really like that one actually. How about Rockies? Which makes no sense. But, uh, classic. Discovery Age. I play on easy. Even though I'm pretty good at this game, I just like to play it safe. I don't really want to lose on camera. So I'm playing against a random player. Looks Akbar. Looks like I'm playing against um, Indians. Interesting. I've only played on this map once before. So this should be this should be interesting. There's seven. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. It takes a while to load. Because it's pretty, you know vigorous match. So, here we are. Um, so, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be, I'll be doing tutorials on this game. For now, I'm just going to be playing as I normally do. But I'll end up doing tutorials. So, here we go. So, I want to get my villagers to Hiya? gather the supply crates. Let's see what we have here. We have a Comanche sediment. Trading post. Looks like that's a trading post right here. Alright. I'd highly recommend getting this game if you like strategy games. You don't even have to like RTSs, just this is a really good game, even if you don't even really like RTSs. Ready. This is food. So the good thing about the um the British is they start they're pretty reliable and easy to play as. I will use the gold of the earth to purchase your destruction. Okay. Um but they start out with a good amount of supplies. Like the Russians start with a ton of supplies. And there's three things you can gather. Wood food and gold. You get wood by trees and trading posts. Same with the silver, same with gold. You get from mines. And then you get that from bighorn sheep. Come on, so I'm gonna get step. all my guys here together. I'm gonna produce more settlers. We're about a hundred food each. And I'm gonna get them to get, I'm gonna test them on this tree which is going to get chopped down eventually. And ready. My, so let's explore right. a bit. You won't. Right. Uh, so you explore by just dragging your you won. den of muskrats with 20 coin. Okay. But you explore by, um, getting your guy on, and yes, just yes. sending to some random right. place. And that'll reveal the map. As you can see, the map is down there. And he's gathering this treasure. Come on, you won. So I got 20 coin for that. Apparently I sold them. I don't know. Yes, And let's you walk won. along the trading post, uh, the trading post. Right. Is this long narrow passage? This long narrow road. It's like the Silk Road. Um, and you build a trading post. Ready. You have to upgrade a little bit. Though, you, but you build a trading post, and you can use it to gather yes. more resources. So if you build a trading post, oh, say you want to produce that. wood, every once in a while, when that little caravan comes by, yes. travel, when that little trade travel comes by, um, right, you will get resources. So let's see. Come on, event. To get the treasure. You won. Let's see what it is. Go instead. Ready. Yes. Let's get the contents. Forty wood. Okay, not that good, but whatever. More grizzly bears. Is that like a treasure? What's there? I don't know. Strange. I've actually never seen that. Quaking wood. My guys are taking a while to produce. I think it's the Russians oh. train in groups of three. Come on, you walk. Yes. They take like three times longer to Ready. produce, but Come on, they're a lot cheaper when you really look at it. The Russians Ready, train right. in masses. You I kind of like the Russians. I'll be yes. doing more videos right. to tell you my you opinions about the various different yes. civilizations. Um, I'm not sure what I'll be doing, 
during the uh, duration of the video. Right. But I'll just be telling you my favorite civilizations. You won't. And why I like them, why I don't like some, because there are definitely yes. a lot I do not like. Right. For various reasons. So the, each match will probably be spread up to five to six parts, because these matches take a while. Come I've on, taken event. up to five you hours won. for one yes. match. Not in one sitting, that would be won. easy, but I've Ready, taken up right. five hours for a single match. So this probably yes. spit and split. Not spit, split into a few episodes. Right. Because you can't really do it all in one sitting, and you kind of want it. Yes, there Foster. Looks like we found another uh, native. No, more Comanche. Okay, well, yes. we have enough wood to build a trading post, so what do we do? An enemy. Oh, uh, so they're close. Come on, you won. We've almost found them. Yes, they must be around you won. In this area. Any civilization plains Indians, who are, I don't like. Come on, at man. All. Ready. Forster. Right in fact, most of the Asian civilizations I don't like. I don't like the Chinese. Yes, come on, I like man. the Japanese a lot. Come on, ready. Since we're establishing an economy, we might as well get more villagers. That's population. That'll dictate how many yes. settlers and military units we produce. See how much damage I can do this before it shoots me down. I just run into my settler back. Will it even? I think I have an idea. I could just do this for like 10 minutes. I might get down to half health. So then when I want to lead the siege on it, it'll be like half done. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. I've never tried that before. Actually, yes, I have, but it failed because they were actually they had a their town center could shoot people. So say you're attacking their town center, it would snipe you. That's I don't like that. I, although it's a good ability because it's useful because they always go for your town center. If your town center is destroyed and all your villages is destroyed, uh, you're done. Uh -huh. you lose. So yeah. Yes. Now we can produce a market which I can uh, exchange on, materials for other materials in. Very useful. Yeah, I definitely need the market. Okay. So we've got it down about mm, almost two, about 250 damage. So as you can see, we'll scroll in here. It's done a measly. It's only done that much. I mean, maybe in about 10 minutes or five minutes, I'll be down to. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. So the market is built. And what I can do with a market is I can exchange. Come on, the Forster. Come on. Yes, Forster. I can exchange resources for other resources. Ready? Oh, these guys. Yes, Forster. So, for example, this they have some minor upgrades like Blunderbuss, which increases villager attack. Um, Great Coat increases villager hit point, which are Come on, how much damage they can take before they die. These have 150. And can we build yes. a barracks? No. Cannot build a barracks. For the English, they have a somewhat slow military. There's an Indian book. God, it looks so stupid. As you can see, it's their health, their tons of health is slowly diminishing. Now it's down to there. And what I want to do now is I kind of want to multitask my units. Let's get yes, these guys to start gathering orchestra. I'm just get one of them for now. It's very slow, but see to upgrade. Um, colonial age population, we need 800 food, which I can buy. Well, I can sell, for example, I can sell this, and then buy that. So now I have 100 food, I exchanged it for the stuff I had originally. And that's just, that will show you in about 10 minutes of how much they have, so it's kind of useful. Then you can know if their army's going to be really big, because you don't want to stand up to them if they have, like, a giant army. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my units. Yeah, get a unit. Oh, they can actually start a mill. So I'm going to build a mill, and mill slowly produces Richt. food. Let's yes, get all my guys to build it. Uh, I need it. And the reason I did that, that three villagers thing is because I want to have some villagers left over to gather wood or coin. Because otherwise they're just all gathering food. It's an unbalanced economy. You want them to multitask. They're not even attacking my guy. Ready. Yes. Stephen Phil. They're always named Stephen Phil. There's this one German explorer named like Polska. Polska Landsnet. I don't know. Maybe that's a German name. I don't know. 
So we have six people working here. We need Come on. Three more people. Two more people. Hi, Tilia. Hi, Tilia. One person. Whoa, I just lagged out. That was super weird. Okay, so now we have ten. Eight, nine, ten. It has a little clock, clock or clang here. I was like, what's all for the English? I've never noticed that. Ever. Okay, so now we're going to see. As you can see, we're slowly getting food. We need 800. Uh, so now, I don't know. So I can buy crates of food, which I need at this point. I'm going to get these. I'm going to need that. I'll come in like five seconds. Five. Two. One. Ah, oh, six off. There we go. Okay. Oh, looks like they have. Is that a No, that's a villager. That's so weird. That's so weird. They should seriously get some, like, just maybe one unit, like a cross. No, they don't have a cross. Just maybe, like, I don't know, rash put. Just kill one. That's odd. They're not attacking at all. Maybe it's because I'm on easy. If I was on normal or hard, and hard is super difficult. That's why I never go on hard, because hard is like, really difficult. Even normal is a little bit difficult. Their normal should be their hard, and their easy should be their very easy, and their normal should be their easy, and then their yeah. You get my, you get where I'm going. So let's... no, that's a use, that's a useless one. I'm gonna get it anyway, just in case. But I'm, I'm not gathering food from hunted animals. I'm gathering food from this thing. It doesn't cost food, does it? Wait, does it? No, okay. I don't even have enough food as it is. What was that noise? Oh, wait. Um, yes, you want. Let's get my guys to gather those. Those will add to my bountiful treasury of food. Torches at him. Why don't they shoot it? I mean, what, what good is throwing torches going to do you to, to, against a stone building? I mean, honestly. They're not, it's not flammable, as far as I'm concerned, unless there's like TNT in there. See, now they're attacking it. Now they're beginning to attack my. You know, Red use? Yeah, close, guys. I don't do much damage at this point. It did like three damage. Jesus, I can't, they could attack me, I don't know why they're not attacking me. If they're, if they're smart, they would. Okay, we have more guys. Ready Let's get them both there. working on the mine. So we actually do need that one. I mean, co coin. I meant coin. Why is it, why is it keep, why is it good? Oh, see, now it's shooting yes. my guy. I don't know why it wasn't doing that before. Ready. But I'm gonna yes. walk away now, because right. I don't want to kill my guy. It costs a coin to ransom him. Alright. Alright. So, we need some more. Nope, still one off. Pretty close, though. Okay, let's just buy. Oh, that's also why I wanted to sell this. Buy some food. Alright, now we can upgrade. Let's go this way. Go. Alright, so I'm gonna end the video here. Part 2 will be out soon. Thanks for watching.